Hey, genderqueer chat. What's up? Ricky here. Um, I have some news. Uh, there's been some rearranging going on on the channel, and uh, Amelia and Dallas and I have been um, offered more permanent positions on the channel, so that's pretty neat. So, it looks like I am going to be sharing Tuesdays with Matt from now on, um, and Amelia will be sharing Thursdays with Sid, and Dallas will be sharing uh, Sundays, or Saturdays, sorry, with Laura Gabriel, except for the next two, uh, two weeks, uh, Keenan is unavailable on Sunday for making a video, so Dallas is going to be doing uh, the Sunday videos, and then going back to Saturday, I think. So, that's really neat, and it's very flattering. Thank you guys for finding us worthy of being full-time on Gender Career Chat. That's, that's very nice. <laughs> um, so, this week's topic is by Dallas, and I don't have it in front of me, but it's uh, along the lines of um, what opportunities, being genderqueer, have there been opportunities that you've missed, and being genderqueer, have there been opportunities that you've gained? Um, I honestly, the things in my life that have caused me to miss and gain opportunities have been, I don't think, like I have had sort of bigger influences than being genderqueer, like much bigger influences. Um, you know, like, my health. <laughs> my health being, like, a huge one, so when I think about sort of missed and gained opportunities, um, I think about, you know, just in my life in general, um, I can't think of anything significant that gender has really played, you know, gender has played, a, is like, a huge role in. Um, the only thing I can think is sort of in line with what Matt was saying, um, and that is when I was a child and preteen and my very early teenage years, I really didn't feel, sorry, didn't feel like I fit in. And that's probably fairly normal for a lot of kids at that age. So I, I hadn't really equated it to gender, um, but it's very, it very possibly could be um, more gender-related than I, I thought. Um, I mean, I never fit in. I never did. Wherever I was, I I felt like the biggest, like, outcast loser, and I just felt like, you know, when the girls were playing and doing their thing, I kind of... Well, I wasn't overly interested, but at the same time, I sort of... I don't know, I just, I, I just felt awkward, I just always, like, around everybody, I always just felt really awkward. Um, yeah, I remember when I was, I was probably about 14 or 15, and a friend at the time said to me, oh, it's so cool when you hang out with us, because you're, like, hanging out with us, and you're one of the guys, but at the same time, you're, like, a hot chick, and... I remember that being really irritated me. <laughs> I was like, oh God, like, and at the time I didn't really understand why it irritated me. Um, thinking about that comment now in relation to gender, um, the reason, I mean, at the, on the one hand, I guess it's kind of nice that I was thought of as one of the guys in a way, um, but then at the same time, um, it probably just like pointed out the difference, you know, pointed, it, probably just, you know, you're like one of us, but you're not, you know, <laughs> like, well, you fit in, but you don't, <laughs> like, so, I don't know, I, that, that irritated me when I was, like, whatever, 14 or 15, however old I was, um, so, yeah, other than that, I mean, to be honest, I can't, I mean, if you think of, like, an advantage, I guess, one of the advantages would be um, having to think about people and like being introduced into the uh, the queer community in terms of like understanding more about um, trans issues and uh, you know gay rights around the world and various GLBTQ things. That's been 
I think, you know, it's been a really good thing. And, you know, being able to be a part of a community that is so thoughtful and, you know, in a way, when you're a part of a community that hasn't hasn't been fully accepted and that really needs, you know, to inspire change, people get really thoughtful and creative and um, being able to, you know, think and converse with people who are sort of forced to think about themselves and the world we live in and everything, um, that's always a good thing, you know, whether it's queer issues, women's issues, like, you know, any kind of minority um, has that, but that's, you know, how you inspire change, so I guess an advantage of being queer is to, is that we get to, we get to participate in uh, something that expands our minds, <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I think, I think that's about all I have to say, sorry I don't have, like, a lot to say on this topic, um, but yeah, thank you, Gender Queer Chat, for wanting me full time. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the rest of the videos this week because I think that they will be interesting. And I'm sort of looking forward to being able to like relate my experiences, things that, you know, maybe other people have related, you know, other people have experienced and related to gender that I never even sort of thought to relate to gender. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the rest of the videos this week. Um, anyway, see y'all next Tuesday. Um, <laughs> bye.